Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Addy Aviates. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to turn this. Boring. Into this. All right guys, so clearly I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get head tracking for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, just discovered this recently, didn't even know this was a thing um, that you could do with a webcam before. I thought that you had to get one of those fancy track IR setups and all that stuff, but literally go get a webcam for like 25 bucks, Target, Walmart, wherever you wanna go, Amazon, um, and you could get yourself some head tracking for Microsoft Flight Simulator, which is a game changer. It makes it so much more immersive. So you're going to go ahead and click that link in the description. It'll take you to this page. You're going to scroll down. This will be the latest version, the one at the top. Um, if you're doing this later than I am, then they might come out with a newer version, but it'll say latest. You'll come down here to the setup exe. You click that. It'll go into your downloads. <coughs> go ahead and open it up. Might take a little bit. So, I already did this, um, so I'm not going to duplicate my download, but it's simple. Click Next, tell it where to install it. Um, it'll download for you. Really simple. It, it, it does it all by itself. Um, so, after you do that, and you get the program, what you want to do is go ahead and open the program up. All right, guys, so once you get into the actual program, um, it, for you guys, it's going to be uh, defaulted to Point Tracker 1.1. You want to go ahead and change that to Neuralink Tracker. That's the one that I recommend. Um, after you do that, go to this little hammer here for the input. Make sure that it's your webcam that you are wanting to use, the one that you are using for your computer. It's going to be defaulted pro to default. Make sure you put it at 60 frames per second. Because the more frames per second you're getting, the smoother, the better it's going to be uh, for tracking. So you 60 frames per second, make sure it's your webcam. Um, and then change it to the Neuralink tracker. After you do that, go ahead and do tracking start. So it's going to get you a picture of your face here. Um, as you can see, head tracking is working. Um, I'm looking straight, but as you can see, it's 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 angled down and to the right. <clears throat> what you could do is actually set up a, a toggle key. Mine, I put C for center. Press C, and now it centers me up. So if you have your setup in a weird way, or it's at an angle, or it's not quite in the middle of your, your monitor, then you could set it up to where you could toggle it to where this. So say I want, I'm sitting like this, I can have that be the center. So, pretty cool. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Just give me one second here. All right, guys. So, to set your toggle key, you're going to go to Options. And then as you see here, for Center, I have a SC. So, you're just going to press Bind. Click your key. Boom. I did the same thing for toggle. So, you can say you want, you're looking at the uh, FMC and you want to have it so it stops tracking because maybe it's shaking too much. You could press T, how it was the where, where I put it as T, you could put it as any key you want. But you set it as T, you press T, and then it would stop head tracking so you could be stable while you're uh, inputting your flight plan and everything. Um, another thing you're going to want to do is go to output. Um, roll is obviously turning your head sideways. Um, for me, when I first uh, started it up, the roll for some reason was inverted, so if I was turning my head to the left, it would actually go to the right. Um, so for me, I had to click invert for the roll. Um, the X axis is left and right. The Y axis is up and down. I changed it to relative transition only because I thought it was a little too aggressive. Um, same thing up here with uh, the, the yaw pitch and roll, so the yaw, left and right pitch, up and down, roll this way. And then the z-axis is your actually your lateral up and, up and down. Um, I have mine 
put I have mine set up pretty low, um, so if you go to the mappings, you can change all the sensitivities and all that stuff. Here's mine, how I have mine set up if you guys want to copy off of this. You just pause it real quick and copy if you wanted to. Obviously set it up to your liking, everyone's different. Um, I like it. This, it's not too sensitive, not too bad. Um, it gives me a view so I could still look up at the, uh, the controls. Um, but I can also look down at the yoke and set my frequencies. Um, so yeah, it's pretty, it's, it's obviously your head tracking on a budget. So those, like I was talking about earlier, those track IRs, um, they're a little bit more expensive. They probably work a little bit better, but this, all you need is a webcam and a computer. Um, it's really simple. You could go buy a webcam, like I said earlier, for like 20 bucks off Amazon. No big deal. Um, don't need any fancy equipment or anything. And you get yourself some head tracking. So I'll play a, a little clip for you guys of a takeoff with some head tracking uh, just just for fun. Um, if you don't want to see it, you don't have to, but I'll just put it in the end. Uh, but thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it. I hope this helped you out. And once again, I mean, I hope this is a game changer for you as much as it was for me. This really brought uh, the best out in the, in the simulator. Thanks for watching, guys. Parking brake off. Flaps 15. Throttle 50%. Start the roll. Looking good. Throttle 100.